So I was checking Twitter, and I have to say I was a little disappointed. If you're an athlete, you need to learn how to be a little bit more humble. I tried so hard to record this outside, but with the wind noise, it doesn't work real well with a microphone. So if you're an athlete and you're putting your confidence out over social media, so as a coach, I would tell you, you don't want to get the opponent uh, wanting to come after you. You don't want them to prove that you're not as good as you are. Now I understand you're very confident, but the less you give your opponent, the better. That's the first thing. That's probably not even the most important. My second point, is to try to remain humble. And it's not easy to do that, but it would be great if you can learn how to get through life without having to tell people about how good you are. And that's hard because in social media, it's all about picking yourself up and making yourself look good. And I think as an athlete, you should try not to do that. And it's, I know it's difficult. It kind of reminds me of a TV show. One of my favorite shows about 10 years ago was called The West Wing. And the communications director, his name's Toby Ziegler, he lost a bet and he had to go all day and mention whenever someone asked his name, he had to say, my name is Toby Ziegler and I work at the White House or I work for the president or something like that. And it got really awkward. The entire day he had to go through and do that. Mr. Lyman, Mr. Ziegler, call me Josh. Toby, I work at the White House. Yeah, can I tell you something? People are gonna think you're a lot cooler if you don't say that yourself, but rather let them find out on their own. Okay. Finally, it was a kid that just said, you know what, it'd be a lot better if you just didn't tell people that. That's kind of how I feel about a lot of these tweets I'm seeing from athletes. Why don't you prove it on the field? Let people see it for themselves. You don't need to go out and tell people how great your defense is going to be, how much numbers you're going to put up, what, how many yards are going to happen. You don't need to do that. That'll come. Third thing, this is something that I could not tell you as a public school coach, but I can tell you now, if you are a follower of Jesus, how do you think he would react? What would he do? Do you think he would go around and tell everybody how great he was? If he's looking at you, do you think he'd be proud of you and be putting his arm around you? Like, way to go. What, tell them how good you're going to be this year. Or do you think he would do the opposite of that? Do you think he would just try to be kind and loving, try to, try to project that? Now, I understand when you get on the football field, you have got to change the way you see things. And in fact, all those things you say on Twitter, all those things that you are maybe even saying bad words in your head, I don't know what it is. When you get on the field, sometimes you have to change who you are. I get that. I have taught many of you that. But off the field, when it comes to times out there, I would get away from that. Try to stay humble. Try to do what the best you can. Win your games. And win them like gentlemen. Win them like great athletes. Don't take a bow. Don't try to think you're the greatest in the world. Be humble about it. All right, well, today's a short, it's a quick message. I want to change my ending a little bit and let you know that I love you. And I want you to go out and make a positive difference in this world. I'll see you guys later.